everyone welcome back to my channel i am manish by watching your tech and coding channel my code works so guys today one of the important topic topic we are going to learn that is data driven testing so as we are continuing with the rest assured tutorials we are going to learn about data driven testing so data driven testing if i say is it's a methodology it's a testing methodology where uh, we are going to pass the test data from external sources such as csv files spreadsheet database and uh, as well as uh, hard coded data so this will test the same logic with different set of data to achieve the te test coverage as well as the reliability of the software or the feature that we are testing so how we are going to achieve this data driven testing in this session so we are going to use the annotation called data provider data provider we have so we are going to use and let's that is jump into that uh, eclipse and then we'll show you what is data provider and we'll see okay so basically we are going to use data provider uh, this is annotation basically called uh, test engine annotation which is uh, which uh, returns uh, which is a method that returns which is applied to a method that uh, returns array of object and which can be uh, uh, used by the test methods to set the or test the particular logic with different set of data for example if you are testing for a lo login functionality then you may have different set of user logins so we are going to write the same logins with the help of the data provider we store somewhere and we are going to use one by one and we are going to test the same logic login logic with different set of data so which will increase the testing coverage as well as our reliability whether the login feature is working perfectly or not this different set of data it's a uh, theory is enough let's directly jump into the um, uh, practice or uh, practical things now and we'll implement this now okay so as you, uh, as you can see that i uh, already uh, opened my eclipse and uh, now i'm going to copy and i will show you how to achieve this data provider and data driven testing this so uh, i will make one uh, package here okay so package is data d d t DDT testing okay so i created this DDT data driven testing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, use this uh, user and uh, learn slice and deselection copy i will i will just copy paste i will create a class here DDT testing okay so it's creating a class inside this class what i will do i will just copy paste this learn uh, code okay so i will just copy paste this method or test method here directly to this i will use this directly and i will show you how to work with data driven testing okay so what i will do <clears throat> i will tell you how we are going to work with data provider okay so data provider is just in the framework uh, annotation so how i will do this as we have user class already i'm going to use this user class so i don't need to write again any class i just need to write this method here so what i will do create user using ddt okay so we have this one and as you can see that we are passing the hard coded data ram and reader and we are testing this we are testing this request response dot in and uh, we are testing this uh, api endpoint i will tell you so we are just creating a uh, user you can see that we are creating a user here we are passing name and job right so i want to test this api endpoint with different set of data right so what i will do i will make something that it will pass some data directly as a, a parameter and this parameter and it will use the same class to create the object so let me write these things okay we are going to create a method so first thing public uh, this should be the return type should be object array of object right so it should be array of object it's a two dimensional array of object okay so uh, user data i will write like this user data and this should be annotated with data to provider we have one annotation and we are going to name it as a user data set user data set okay and what i am going to import this okay so data provider is an annotation coming from test engine let's import this now we have to write some logic that will return uh, this uh, particular object array. so how do we do we are going to use hard coded now and i will show you how to go with the files uh, especially about csv data we are going to some okay i will talk about that later let's go with the hard coded data okay okay so what i will do i am just going to return this object new object object of object of oh, I'm sorry i don't say object so we are going to pass the data okay uh, how are you going to pass we are going to say uh, a, okay so john teacher this one set of data okay now again let's go with the okay so let's do with the things enter and then then something whatever it is let's put the engineer and manager i will write like this okay 
So we have this data. I just created a small data set where we are providing the name, different name, and different uh, job uh, role. So we are going to take this as an input data and we are going to take the same point with different set of data, right? So as I provided this, this are our data. Here we are just providing one set of data and we are testing with this only data. Now we are going to provide this number of data and we are going to test the same logic of creating a user with this different type of data. So let's use this data as it will return as a set two dimensional array object, right? Array of objects. So I'm going to, we have a uh, call parameter data provider in uh, average test annotation we have called data provider, uh, data provider annotation uh, parameter, right? So here we are just going to mention the particular data provider name, user data set, okay? Let's save this. And as this will return uh, array, right? So definitely we have to receive the data here. So one by one, it will return as the data string name, string job, okay? And this we have to pass it here. It should be job, and this should be name. Now let's run this code and see whether we are able to execute this much of data sets, right? I mean data, right? We are able to test it on. So let's click on the run button. <clears throat> Hopefully it should run, and uh, we will be able to test the same API endpoint with different set of data. In next next couple of time, we'll like. Uh, Couple of minutes, we'll see how to read the data from Excel file or a CSV file and how to provide the data from that. As you can see there, all test. So we have created four different set of data and we are able to execute for four of them. We are able to create the, or you were able to test the particular event point with different set of data, right? So if I directly show console, I will show you four test data it's executed. And we are able to see that one test case pass, right? So as you can see that uh, it's uh, printing the particular uh, string uh, like object, right? So Lucy, we, we pass this data and uh, it's printing the particular in points. If I say directly that we are able to, <clears throat> as you can see that uh, user response dot to string, I'm printing, I'm storing user response. User response is a class and uh, we are directly storing in a this license we are doing and directly we are printing this response. So we are able to, we are able to get that data and we are able to see that thing ID is created, created at time. So that's all with the uh, data provided with hard coded data. Now we'll see. So just now we see how to uh, go with the uh, normal hard coded data. Now we are going to see how to use CSV data or how, how to read the CSV data files. And we are going to supply the same data test data that we added in the CSV file to our test method. So I will show you, we have one test uh, CSV file that is uh, user CSV data dot CSV. And you can see that we have name and job. And inside that we have a number of names and uh, just random jobs name that is not a job name at all, but it's a random of data we are just generating. So around 100 set of uh, data we have, right? So we are going to use to read this data, set of data. I mean, we have this CSV file in our framework. I just save this data. And uh, if you see directly, it's under this user CSV data, uh, user, uh, user CSV data dot CSV. This is the file and which contains the 100, uh, 100 set of data for name and job, right? We are going to read the data and we are going to supply this data to this uh, particular API endpoint and we are going to hit the particular endpoint whether we are able to test with the set of different set of data or not, okay? So, so let's do one thing. We are going to, for that, one uh, library or we have to add in our form.xml that is common CSV. Common CSV Apache, we have one, one uh, uh, library that is common CSV commons, that's CSV. We have to think like this, we have to search like this, common CSV. You can uh, search in memory pretty and directly add it here, okay? So directly you can add it here. And after adding, build the things, right? Build your project and then we are going to uh, start with the thing. So let's, uh, without any delay, just directly jump into this, okay? So Again, it should be a two-dimensional array and uh, user CSV data set, okay? Right? And let's do one thing. I will annotate public, right? Public. I will annotate this with data, data provider name, CSV, user CSV data set. User CSV data set, okay? Right? So let's save this. And then what we're going to do, we are going to create a a uh, list of object array, right? So list, we are going to use collection here and we are going to see object array, one dimensional object array, user data is called to new array list of, okay? New array list of, we are going to import these things. Let's import this array list. Okay, so now we are going to use try with resource statement here. So try with resource is basically we are going to use file reader here. So reader, IADER reader equals to new file reader, okay? And here we are going to pass the particular uh, directory of this data set, okay? So we, it's under SRC test resource, right? Yes, RC under test, test under R-E-S-O-U-R-C-E-S -E resources. And that is user C CSV data, de, data dot CSV, okay? Now we are going to do one thing. We are going to import this reader first. 
uh, okay. File reader, reader, uh, file reader, okay. Why it is not showing? A reader. It should be Java DT, right? Uh, Java dot IO file internal of okay. change to file reader like this. Okay, then it should be converted to like this new file reader. Let's uh, throw exception file not found and then we'll do this. Okay, so file reader we have reader find new file reader. Now what we're going to do is we are going to use CSV format. So this is something like uh, it will return as a iterable, iterable object that this will be CSV record, CRD record. Once we read the data from CSV, it will return as a CSV record, iterable of CSV records, right? Uh, object, right? So what we are going to do records, we are going to say records equals to uh, CSV format dot default. So there is no change in the format, CSV format is the default. So we are going to go with the CSV format dot default. And again, we are going to go with the with header, okay? So we are passing the first line is a header. So we are going to go with the first with header, that is name, read the header name. And this will act as a column name so that it will read the data based on this column name, okay? Uh, name and job, okay? And now we are going to pass the reader, right? Pass, pass the reader so that it will start reading the data from this reader file uh, object, IA, DER reader, okay? Now we are going to iterate over this iterable. We are going to use for loop and CSV records because CSV record, own record, right? Equals to uh, here we are going to use enhanced for loop records. We have set of records. Now we read the data. We are able to pass the CSV file. Now we are going to uh, iterate over each record and we are going to get the data for each rows, right? We got the rows and now we are going to get the data of the name column and uh, same for job column, right? So we are going to add in user data dot, it's a capital data, user data dot add, it's a list, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to add as an object array. So new object, new object, and this should be, we are going to pass the uh, data as a r dot get the column name we are going to provide, name, okay, comma, r dot get the second column name that is job okay job and let's close this now we are able to add the data that we wrote uh, read as a uh, rows number of rows so at last after reading this what we are going to do we are going to convert this list right list into a uh, two-dimensional object array right so how we are going to do this we are going to convert this user data dot to array method we have and this will convert a two-dimensional array object array how we are going to provide this how it is going to provide this two-dimensional arrays we are going to pass in the object of zero and the second it will uh, dynamically find out the length of this object array that is how that is how like it's uh, based on the data inside the user, uh, data dot type user data right so number of length it will create that that number of data inside this new two dimensional object array right so this will return the object array in two dimensional format and it is showing that uh, okay so let's remove this uh, what it is showing so what exception let directly jump into this and it should be written written as a New object array. Now we got this data provider, right? So we are going to pass this data provider and we are going to use this one. Now, as of now, I'm going to change this. Let's copy this user CSV data set to this data provider and let's run this code, okay? And I will run this method again and we'll see that 100 set of data it's going to execute for the same API endpoint. So, in this way, we are going to achieve the test coverage with different set of data, positive and negative, and which will ensure that your product or the API endpoint is very reliable and we can uh, rely on the party endpoint because we are able to test different set of data, either it's a negative data or positive data or the corrupt data, something. Right. So you can see that we have provided a lot of data and it's testing one by one and we are able to see that it's able to create a uh, hundred set of data right easily. Right? So this is the way we are able to uh, perform data driven testing. I hope you understood and you are able to execute the things. And if you have, if you have any doubt, please let me in the comment section. I will try to help you out. And uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe and click on bell icon. So after watching this video, definitely you understood or something you learned. So please, please, please uh, click on bell icon and uh, subscribe as well as support me guys and still with the friends who want to learn API testing or API testing framework like Sidesh to show. So that's all for today's video. We are able to execute the data driven testing successfully within the 100, uh, 40 sec 47 seconds. We are able to execute 100 data right uh, for the same, same API endpoint. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learn about data driven testing. Happy testing. Happy learning. Bye bye.